A biometric passport also known as an e-passport or a digital passport embedded with NFC technology. Passport that has an embedded electronic microprocessor chip at the front or back of the passport cover which contains biometric information. Such as, facial recognition and digital fingerprints that can be used to authenticate the identity of the passport holder, and the same information is printed in the passport. This technology implanted with an RFID chip and antenna to communicate with the server. The passport transmits signals using an RFID tag to the airport system to validate the passport holder's information. The first biometric passport was introduced by Malaysia in 1998. Now, more than 160 countries have introduced biometric passports. Biometric passports are introduced to improve the security of the borders and prevent identity theft and increased rate of terrorism. E-Passport adds an extra layer of security by containing specific biometric information that can include facial mapping for facial recognition software, digital fingerprints, or iris scans. International Civil Aviation Organization defines the biometric file formats and communication protocols to be used in passports. A biometric passport contains the following. Full name. Date of birth. Photograph, often in a biometric form such as a 3D map of the face that can be used in facial recognition software. Biographical information, such as birthplace. Biometric information, which can include fingerprints or iris scans. Unique chip identification number, and digital signature that protects the stored data from being altered. Now, many countries launch new generation e-passports, which impacts an existing processes and the overall passport design. The new e-passport program set a protocol that should be considered during the migration of the new e-passport in the country. Many countries that have introduced new e-passports over the past decade have taken the opportunity to update and strengthen their national travel document. The introduction of biometric passports has also facilitated border control as automatic border control gates are being implemented in airports. The critical components of biometric passport involve technology and solutions which are capable of delivering the results required. The new 2020 UK passport, the Norway passport launched in 2018, and the Finnish passport launched in January 2017 are some examples illustrating new biometric passports. Advantages of having this type of passport means, you can use the e-passport gate at the airport. A machine at the gate will scan your passport and match the data on it with your face using facial recognition technology, making the process quick and easy. How does it work? After heading towards the e-passport gate at the airport, scan the biometric passport on the reader, and self-check in by looking at the screen. It identifies the biometric information, personal information printed on the first page and travel information using a microprocessor chip. After the proper validation reader turns green, then the passport holder can walk through the gate. Biometric Passport Security A biometric passport is not foolproof, but it is hard to falsify, steal, or alter due to several systems and mechanisms in place to protect the data. These include the following. Active authentication. This helps to prevent the cloning of biometric passports. Passive authentication. This detects chip modifications. Basic access control. This works to protect the channel of communication between the passport chip and the e-passport reader. Extended access control. This is an extra safeguard for iris scans and fingerprint data. Metallic mesh. This RF blocking material is embedded into the passport booklet to prevent skimming or unauthorized reading of the passport, as it must be open to be scanned. Random UID feature. This works to prevent tracking by issuing a new and random UID every time the chip is accessed and authorization to the data is granted. Now and beyond. The next generation of e-passports will be faster and advanced. They will soon digitally store travel information such as, e-visas, entry and exit stamps to support more efficient immigration control. With Logical Data Structure version 2, the next generation of e-passports to come will move from read-only to, read and write. The IKO New Technologies Working Group undertook the Logical Data Structure Version 2 conception phase in 2016 and in faster progress. With over 1 billion e-passports now in circulation, 
smart borders and smart airports are emerging at a faster pace. Using biometrics particularly face recognition opens the gate to the next generation of travel experience such as, automated airports and self-service airport facilities for passengers, from check-in to immigration control and boarding. Globally, smart airports expanded their facial recognition system from e-security gates to boarding gates earlier this year. Also, extended to biometric purchase at duty-free shops just by looking at the screen which enables faster and next-gen experience for travelers. Undoubtedly these next-gen e-passports are going to provide seamless travel experience to the passengers. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video. Subscribe and click the bell icon for more video notifications.